All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to find determinants. I'm gonna do the determinants of a two by two matrix and the determinants of a three by three matrix. It's actually one determinant per matrix, but um, because I'm gonna be doing multiple, we're gonna say determinants. So on a two by two matrix, we're gonna pretend that the values are called A, B, C, and D. What you wanna do is you wanna do A times D minus B times C. Whatever that value is, that's your determinant. So I'm going to do a couple of examples here. And I'm going to use some highlighters to help me see what I'm doing. I'm going to do these guys minus these guys. So it's going to be 2 times 7 minus 3 times 4. 2 times 7 is 14. 3 times 4 is 12. So the determinant of this matrix is 2. It's as simple as that. No matter what the numbers are, I'm just going to follow that process. So I'm going to do 6 times 14 minus. 9 times 2. 6 times 14 minus 9 times 2. That's going to give me 84 minus 18. Which gives me 66. Determinant equals 66. And it's really as simple as that. Sometimes they'll try to get tricky on you and throw some variables in there. Still just follow the same process. So we're going to do x plus 3 times 7 minus 2y minus 9 times 4. x plus 3 times 7, I'm going to put this guy in parentheses, minus 2y minus 9, which I'm also going to put it in parentheses, times 4. Now we're just going to distribute. 7x plus 21 minus 8y minus 36. Now the reason that I kept this in parentheses after I distributed the 4 was because I want to make sure that I subtract both the things inside of here. So it's going to be 7x plus 21 minus 8y plus 36. The only like terms that I have are my constants right here. So it's going to be 7x minus 8y plus 57. And that's my determinant. That's the final answer. And it's really as simple as that for the 2x2. Two two. The 3x3 three three is a little more tricky. So on the 3x3 three three, what we want to do is we want to call our values a1, a2, a3, b1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. What you need to do right here is you need to write your first two columns on the outside of the matrix. So I'm going to rewrite A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3 right here. Now I'm going to follow the same process. Notice on my 2x2 two two, what I did was I I had positive values that were coming down into the right. I'm going to do the same thing right here. So I'm going to multiply these three together and it's going to be positive. I'm going to add these three and I'm going to add the product of these three. So those guys are all going to go down here. So it's going to be A1 times B2 times C3 plus B1 times C2 times A3 plus C1 times A2 times B3. Now notice on the two by two, I subtracted the ones that are going up and to the right on all of them. The same thing is gonna happen here. So I'm gonna multiply these guys and I'm gonna subtract the product. I'm gonna multiply these guys and I'm gonna subtract the product. I'm gonna multiply these guys and I'm gonna subtract the product. So it's gonna be minus A3 times B2 times C1 minus B3 times C2 times A1 minus 
C3 times A2 times B1. So let's do it with an actual number example. And I'm going to use real simple numbers here. The first thing I need to do is I need to rewrite my first two columns on the outside of the matrix. Now I'm going to use my highlighter again. The numbers that I'm going to multiply together positively are these three, these three, and these three. Negatively are going to be these three, these three, and these three. Sorry, this is going to the one. Kind of missed a little bit. So let's see what happens here. I have 1 times 5 times 9 plus 2 times 6 times 7 plus 3 times 4 times 8 minus 7 times 5 times 3 minus 8 times 6 times 1 minus 9 times 4 times 2. And now I'm just going to simplify everything. So I'm going to do 1 times 5 times 9, which is 45. 2 times 6 times 7, which is 84. 3 times 4 times 8, which is 96. Minus 7 times 5 times 3, which is 105 minus 8 times 6 times 1 which is 48 minus 9 times 4 times 2 which is 72 and now I'm going to simplify 129 215 110 62, negative 10. So my final answer is negative 10. If I, if I did some sort of arithmetic error in there, I apologize. I'm going to do another example just like this. Move this guy over to here so we can still see what's going on. And I'm just going to make up another matrix. So this matrix is going to be Try not to repeat numbers. But I'm also trying to use really no, low numbers so it's easier for my multiplication. So first thing is to rewrite the first two columns again. And then I'm going to use my highlighter to see which numbers are positive and which numbers are going to be negative. So these multiplied together plus these multiplied together, plus these multiplied together. Minus these multiplied together, minus these multiplied together, minus these multiplied together. So let me get it started. It's going to be 5 times negative 2 times 4, plus 2 times 3 times 1, plus negative 1 times negative 3, times 0 minus 1 times negative 2 times negative 1. It's really important that you keep the sign of everything the same. Minus 0 times 3 times 5 minus 4 times negative 3 times 2. Now I'm going to do the multiplication here. So this is going to be negative 40 plus this is going to be 6 plus this is going to be 0 minus this is going to be positive 2 minus this is going to be 0 minus this is going to be negative 24. Now we're going to simplify negative 34, negative 34, negative 36, 
negative 36, negative 12. Minus a negative is really plus, so that's plus 24, which gives me negative 12. And that's it. That's as simple as it gets.